Play Whiskey Wednesday Round 11, the memory game. Until June 26, each week you could win one of our 12 incredible grand prizes. Select two doors at checkout. And if they match on drawing night, you'll win that bottle. Not a match? No worries. You still score a Weller 12-year. Every $5 ticket gives you five chances to win, including four weekly bonus prizes. Get your tickets now at give270.org. Charitable Gaming License ORG 0002703. Welcome everybody, got another Whiskey Quickie, and today we're looking at a new permanent expression from Jack Daniels, and this is, now they're dipping their toes into Bottled and Bond. You would think with a, a company like Jack Daniels that's been around for so long, they would have had a Bottled and Bond before now, but... Yeah, one would think they would be like one of the OGs, but, yeah. but hey, first one's into it. Welcome to the party. It's never too late. Yes. So, they have their regular old... Actually, regular old. The regular bottled and bond, which is their typical Jack Daniels mash bill. But we're not going to review that one for you today. Uh, instead, we're going to do Jack Daniels triple mash. And you can see we're, we actually still have this one sealed over here. So we'll save that one for another date. But this is the triple mash. So here is a little bit more information on well, about it as well. So it is a blend of three straight bottled and bond whiskeys. 60% of it is Jack Daniels Tennessee rye. 20% is Jack Daniels Tennessee Whiskey, and 20% of Jack Daniels American Malt. Each expression is distilled, of course, in Lynchburg, Tennessee, in the same distilling season, aged to the stipulations of the Bottled and Bond Act, and then blended and bottled at 100 proof. It is non-age dated, however, comes with a pretty decent SRP of only $33 a bottle. So, is this one of the only Bottled and Bonds with, like, a blend of mash bills? Uh, I can't think of any that are different. I, I think maybe Chattanooga had done something oh, similar yeah, yeah, to yeah, like that's it. True. Yeah. But this is, and what do you know, they're both from Tennessee. But this is, of course, Jack Daniels. It's a much bigger heritage brand, I guess you could say, when it comes down to it. Yeah. Well, I've never had their American malt. I love their rye whiskey. The rye is and, a big uh, fan of them. You know, the standard Jack's good as well. Uh, big fans of the barrel proof, so... Let's see how they all mingle together. Let's see what their blending expertise got them. That's right. So. Onto the nose. Well, there's still that strong banana note. You know, the, it is in there. That banana runts. Yeah, you get definitely. I, I would have to say that runts almost kind of like that. It's just that that artificial candy that you kind of get on there. Yeah, there's some like strong honey honey bunches of oats kind of thing going on too. I maybe like from that. the malt. I like that. A little more of that cereal green coming through. Yeah, back to cereal mm. for reviews. All yeah. right, all right. Well, on to the taste then. Hmm. It's really fruity on the front end. It's like really bright stone fruits, like some grape, little maybe blueberry action or something. I was like, about to say, there's a berry yeah. somewhere in there. Like almost, a berry medley. Almost like a little bit of a bubble gum flavor too. Cap and Crunch berry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Back to cereals, but uh, no, it's got very fruity on the front. Cap and Crunch, just berries? Mm -hmm. That's, That's right, just the for. berries. Yeah, very fruity on the front, and then it kind of opens up to a little like honey and chocolate on the finish. It's very light and mellow on the finish, but mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's overall, it's a uh, good, interesting, different things going. That was a good, interesting change of pace. Yeah. So let's go ahead and rate it on the nose. I liked it. Thumbs up. I agree. And the taste? Thumbs up. I really love the front and mid palate on this. I was surprised how fruity it was. I think you get a lot of those different, the blend brings a lot of different characteristics out of it that you might not get just from the 100 proof, but we don't know because we haven't actually tried the regular 100, but yeah. so far, so good on this one. And the finish. I'm going to go sideways. Uh, it kind of falls flat. It's uh, real muted. Um, the front and mid palette's fantastic, and I'd really like for it to kind of build up into a nice spice, but uh, it's just kind of nice and flat and easy. So if you are if you don't like proof or you like easy sipping, this will be right up your alley. Yeah, I, I, I tend to agree. I, I might be leaning a little bit more towards the thumbs up, but I still think it's a great strong offering from Jack Daniels diving into the bottled and bond realm. So way to go there, Lynchburg. Way to go. Go yeah. to B B Bobo's or B <laughs> Mary Bobo's. Mary Bobo's. Mary Bobo's. Right. Get yourself some bottled and bond now. Yep. Well, cheers, everybody. That is our review of a Jack Daniels triple mash rye. Sorry, triple mash bourbon. With that, cheers, everybody. We'll see you next time.